Hey everybody, it's Doug Schauff with Remax Oceanside and MakeManYourHome.com. Today we're going to talk about radon. This is important, so let's do this. All right, everybody, we are going to talk today about radon, radon in the air. We'll also talk about radon in the water as well. This is an important subject, and it's a hot topic when anybody's buying a house. I have some clients that are like, oh, my God, there's radon. I'm going to die. And then I have uh, other clients that don't care. It is important because it can be dangerous when there's too much radon in your house. So I want to make that very clear, even though I was joking a minute ago. Let's dive into what radon is, how to get rid of it, how we test for it, and all that kind of stuff. Radon is a gas or an air that's coming up out of the ground. It comes out a lot of like granite, uh, which there's a lot of granite here in Maine. So that's why there is a lot of radon that we find in houses. It's a gas and an air that's coming up out of the ground anytime. But when you're in a building, level Levels can build up. It can get dangerous. It can cause lung cancer over long periods of time. And it's definitely an issue that you want to be testing. When the inspector comes, you go under contract and you test for radon in the air. They put their test in the lowest level of that's potential living space. Usually in a normal house, it goes down in the basement. And they have a, like either a canister sitting there, a couple canisters, or they have like a lot of the inspectors have these digital readouts that just kind of sits there, collects air. And the EPA levels, it's supposed to be under four picoliters per thousand. 4.0 is the number that we're always looking for. And so this testing mechanism, whether it's the canisters that you can buy at Home Depot or you know any uh, hardware store, or if you have an inspector do it, it has to sit in the house for two days, 48 hours, and all the doors and windows need to be closed up aside from just normal use. It's not like you're trapped in your house uh, for two days. When the inspector comes back to get his contraption, usually that's digital and he can tell you right away. If you get the little canisters in, at a hardware store or whatever, you got to send them out to a lab. Might take a few days to get the results back. But generally, you're looking for 4.0 and less is safe. Now, in Maine here, it's like 50 50. I got to admit, I don't know if that's an exact stat, but it seems like it seems like every other house I'm in, radon is high. When it is high, you do want to get rid of it. As a matter of fact, in multi units or rental properties, you I think you have to test for it. And if it is high, you do have to mitigate it. The good thing is it's not outrageous expensive to mitigate in most houses. It's about a thousand, twelve hundred dollars. Let's say a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars, you know, right in there to, to mitigate it in most property. Basically what they do is down in the basement, concrete floor, they drill a hole through it and they take a, a big PVC pipe and they put it down there. Ideally, it's going to be around like the perimeter drain or whatever. So there's some, you know, uh, movement under there. And then the pipe goes all the way up, either outside and out, you know, right there, or it goes all the way up through the house and out the roof. And then somewhere in there, usually up higher, like in the attic or whatever, is a fan that is sucking the radon gas out from under the foundation and then out into the atmosphere where it should be. All right. So that's how you get rid of it. It's really not that expensive and it can be taken care of very easily, but I do highly recommend that you uh, test for it and make sure you're safe. One last thing I'll touch on is you can find radon, high radon levels in your well water. Now, from what I understand is if radon is high in the water, you can still drink the water. The reason that it can be dangerous is like the gas or the steam that comes off of the water can do the same thing as just radon in the air. Now to get rid of radon in the water is a lot more expensive and it's a lot less common. You know, I don't see it very often. It is out there. So you, I do always recommend if you have a well and you're doing a water test, test for radon because the systems, they call them a bubble up system and they can be around five, $6,000. So you do want to make sure that you test for that. And if it's needed, you know, make sure that you get that put in one way or another. That is why it's important to test radon. There's some information about how to get rid of it. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. Does your house have radon on it? Have you tested your house? Let me know. Comment below. Hit us up on uh, social media. And remember, if you make me in your home, you don't have to do it alone.